Hey Just Fires, um, I'm Hunter Just X11 and welcome back to another episode of New Life Experience. I know it's been a while since I've done this, but um, I've been kind of been kind of busy lately, and I actually kind of forgot about this. So um, the last in the last episode, uh, the some one guy got killed. I can't remember what his name was, but um, that one annoying guy got killed, and um, they found that site. So um, let's see where we should go. Ear. Okay. Um, let's go to ear. Okay, I decided to visit Earth once again, or Earth once again. I decided to visit Earth once again. Earth is the name of the newly created world. It is where life and death spend most of their time. Therefore, I should go there to find out more about them. Oh, so it's Earth, not Earth. My bad. Alright. Oh! Oh! Uh, I guess I don't want to run into those. Ah! Ah, don't hit me! Ah, please don't hit me! Oh! Stupid things! They hit me! Alright, so... Okay, that's a lot of crap. It's a lot of things shooting up out of the water. Oh my god. It's like a lot of things. Okay. Oof. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's life. Oh, Miss. Oh, Mr. Mystery. You're here. Dang, those things are annoying. They are fishes. They are very good at swimming. Well, apparently they are very good at jumping at me too. Aren't they supposed to eat each other instead of ganging up on me? Well now that well now that my sister is gone, they don't die anymore. So they don't even need to eat each other. And there is almost no more room left in the ocean. They are trying to get out, and they are not in a good mood. I can see that. The only thing I'm good at, I'm good at is making them evolve and giving them general directions. Oh really? You can control them? Well, I can do things like telling them not to jump at us right now. But it's my sister who controls the population. If only we hadn't made them anonymous. Uh, autonomous. Sorry. What do you mean? Well, you see, right now they don't need anyone to check on them for reproduction. But my sister is used to, is, but my sister used to be responsible for cell division. Cell division? Yes. She would take a cell, cut it in two with her scythe, and then you get two cells. Hmm. Okay. So that's what the scythe is for. Right. Is there anything else that was uh, cut with the scythe? Well, not really, no. There's just water and fishes here. Oh wait, there is something. Rocks. Rocks? There are rocks in the bottom of the ocean. My sister used them to train. I will show you the way. Wait, there's no need to. Oh well. Oh my god, that's a lot of fish. <laughs> my gosh. Okay. So how am I supposed to avoid these? Oh, oh, I'll just go where he goes. This is ridiculous. 
Okay, come on. Come on, little fishy. Come on, little fishies. Move. Okay, so I just have to follow life. Life, where are you going? Don't confuse me. Okay. Okay, what are we, what exactly are we doing in life? It seems to me like we're just going around in circles. Come on, you need to wherever you want me to go. Okay, thank you. What the heck are those things? They are rocks. But why are they all cut in two? That's because my sister turned a lot on me. She wanted to see if she could cut, and cut a cell in three, four, or five pieces. The only number she managed is two. See how the cuts in those rocks are clean. Alright. Very well. I think that I have gathered enough evidence for today. Well, there aren't much things around here any anyway. If you ever see my sister, tell her I'm cheering on her. Okay, I will. Anyway, I should probably go now. Come back whenever you want. Okay, so Earth was weird. Earth was really, really weird. Um, so... Guess we go back to the factory. Or if we go to the factory. Okay, so I decided to go see Death. Death is currently detained in the factory. The room is where Fact collects everything interesting he finds when he visits Ward. I'll go in there and talk to Death so I can get her side of the story. I keep forgetting that you have to click in order to start the text. Hey Fact. Can I ask you something? You will say what you want from me. I need to go ask some questions to Death. Death is in the factory. Yes, I know that. I need to get in there too. The factory is safe. It's safe. Death cannot escape from it. Just shut up and let me in. You're very unpolite for someone who is asking a favor. Ouch, that hurts. Fact has a, has lots of problems with lying. In fact, he cannot do it. Even considering the truth is a bit hard for him. He can do it, but it will be so obvious that anyone will notice that something is wrong. So him saying that I'm impolite just made me reconsider my approach. Okay, Fred. This is for the sake of this is for the sake of truth. Please let me in. You like truth, right? Well, I need to shed some light on this murder and find out everything. I'd be very grateful if you would kindly let me in. Okay, watch out, watch out for flying thought reports. Whoa, wait. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can't hit the thought reports. Ooh. One almost hit me. <laughs> Crap, what the heck? The domestic cat is a small, usually fur. Stopping in the factory is lethal. Yeah, I kind of, kind of realize that. Ah. <laughs> God, finally. Wonder where love is. I made it. I like her. Oh, I hate this place so much. Flying back thoughts all over the place. I can still feel them. All the, all those useless pieces of information. I think I'll never forget about this place. Back in my place. Poor Death. It must be horrible for her to be stuck in here. Speaking of which, what could she possibly be? Death, can you hear me? 
You? Oh, I hear something. Get me out of here right now! What? What? Don't shout like... What? Don't shout like this. You have the counter part of that red guy. You should, you should have some similar power. What? Get me out of here right now or I will cut you in two. Wait. Please calm down. Do you doubt my ability to cut things in two? Please, please step back. I'm just here to talk. Don't touch him. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. It's her again. Move away! Oh no, she got away again. There's love. Love? What are you doing here? I wanted to talk to her to know her side of the story. She keeps flying away. Since we both fly at the same speed, I can't seem to be able to catch her. Also, she keeps throwing her sight at me. It's so unfair. If only I had something to throw at her too. No. What? I know what you're thinking, and it's not going to happen. Crap. Okay. Oh, got him. Oh! No, you don't, Dad. Uh oh, Dad. Not hitting me with that stinking side. Don't cut me in two. Ah! Ah! This is so hard. Ah! She hit me. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ah. Death, stand still. Please stay still. Ah. Hit you once. Why can't I hit you again? There we go. There we go. Ah! You suck. Eat this. Oh my gosh. Why are you flying so fast? Stop that! I just need to hit her. Ah, I can't hit her. Ah, there we go. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. Why can't I get a good hit on her? I just wait for her to fly back up. And then... Nope. There we go. So, take that. Ah! Stick him down. Come here. Come on. Fly back on. Come on, fly back down. No! Don't just fly in the middle and then fly back up. It's not fair. Ah, gotcha. I think so, Missy. Bad death. No. No wonder everyone thinks that you murdered that guy. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Keep trying to cut me in half. Take that. Ah! Crap, I flew right into that. Death, come here.
This is ridiculous. Okay. Fly over. Hit her. There we go. Now fly backwards. Quickly! Don't cut me! Oh, Take this, dead. Oh, I got you in the head. Uh, back load. Uh, can't, we, can't we just talk about this? Dad, can't we just talk, please? Uh, not without you trying to cut me. Please, I would rather you not try and... Uh, rather you not try to cut me. Ah, ah. Death. Let's just talk. So let's just talk. Come on. Come on, girl. I just want to talk to you. Eh. Ooh. Ah. Death, can we just talk, please? Without you. Run your sight at me. Take that. Oh! Crap. Flew down into it. For to fly up. Ooh! Jeez, go. Ooh! Go for to fly up. Bam! Back up, back up. You just stay up in there. Stay up in there. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh cut my tail off. Take that. Ah, man, she hit me. Take that. Take that. Don't cut me. <laughs> Dang it, Dad. Take that. Take that. Ow, oh, she hit me. Gosh, this is not even take that. <laughs> Come on. Fly back up. Fly back up. Don't fly down. Fly up. It's not nice. It's not nice, but... Death, death, you don't do that. Take that. Oh! Okay, 
Okay, sorry about that, guys. Take that. That's so stupid. Calm down, calm down. Ooh, calm down. Ooh, ooh, calm down. Death, ooh, god, death, calm down. Ooh. Uh, yes, got her. Finally, my head is still spinning from this. Don't ever do that again, love. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. That was humiliating. I love it when I win a race. But at least it was entertaining. There's nothing to do here at all. You guys must be excited. This is like the first murder in the history of eternity. And of course everyone will say that, that Death was responsible for it. It's logical, isn't it? What? Oh, that's right, dude. You've been in there all this time, so you don't actually know what happened right after you were jailed. Wait, what do you mean? What happened? We have been investigating. What? It's too simple. It's too simple if you did it. If you did it, too obvious. I believe that you were trying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you all that time. All that time, but you were just running away. I already met your brother to get more information. And I need to check the body. Something doesn't seem right about it. In a few days, I'll be able to prove your innocence. I will not let you down. But for that, I need your cooperation. I love cooperation. So are you ready to tell us what you know? You. Hmm? Huh? Think. Thank you. What? Oh. I was so scared. I was born just a few cycles ago and something horrible has already happened. I didn't know I didn't know what would come next. Would I be imprisoned forever? Would I be pardoned by creation but eternally but eternally rejected by everyone else? Would I die? Don't worry, everything is fine now. We will, we will prove your innocence. I'm sorry, there's nothing I know. I tried everything I could, but I didn't find any reason for anyone to frame me. This world is all new to me. I didn't have enough time to, f to familiarize with everyone. Uh, what's the matter? I just remembered something. Oh, really? Yes, what's that talk to me before I started working on planet Earth? He asked me what kind of powers I have. What? 
what he did that for? What? What he did that? But he should know the answer. He can see the future. Yes, but at that moment I turned around to show him. And I think that this is when I lost my scythe. What? Yes, I'm talking about this scythe. Hmm. Okay. After what you told me, it seems that something is clear to me now. What is? This scythe cannot possibly be the murder weapon. What? How did, how did you how did you deduce that? I have no time to explain. We must act quickly. Seth, please wait for me. I will defend you. I promise. Thank you. Aww. Seth is actually, Seth is actually has actually turned out to be a really interesting character. Um. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry that that fight with Death took so long. Um. Anyways, guys, I hope that y'all are enjoying me playing um, a near life experience. I know I am. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And, um. Uh, let's go to the Hall of Eternity and see about saving. And, um. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this so far. Oh, yeah. I decided, I decided, I decided to go to the Hall of Eternity. After all, this is where we found Forsyth's body. Maybe I should check it to make sure we haven't forgotten anything. Every detail matters. Okay, but yeah, I'm just absolutely loving this right now. It's really cool. And, um, hey, Pat, what's up? Nothing is different from usual. What? There was a murder? Nothing is different from usual. Oh, I see. You're just practicing for one of the creation talks to you. Good thinking. Nothing is different from usual. Anyway, I came to check on the body. Wait a second. Where the heck did the body go? Nothing is different from usual. Fact! Where the heck is Forsyth's body? Nothing is different from... I have merely adapted to the situation. Since you don't want creation to find out, I hit the body. You what? Wait, okay, maybe this was a good idea after all. So where is it? Nothing is different from usual. Fact, where the heck is the freaking body? It is east of here, but you are not to go near it. What? You are going to use it to disculp death. Death killed foresight. I will not let this happen. Okay, I can't argue with that. This is good. I will be watching. Do not attempt to get near the body. Okay, fine. As if. This guy really thinks I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna near the body. This guy really thinks I'm not gonna near the body? I'm not the only one with fancy warping powers, guys. I have something useful, too. Something I use all the time to check the content of a novel without altering it. Invisibility. If I don't move, you can't see me. Let's go ahead and get this body checked out. Oops. Okay, this is actually going to prove a little bit, a little bit difficult. Oh yeah, I forgot that I can uh, do that. Can't see it. Oh my goodness. Yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Um I hope that y'all have enjoyed this so far. And the Pudge 0611, I'll see you on the next episode. Peace out.